In this movie, I will be discussing the Al Rifa Mosque. The Al Rifa Mosque was built in 1969 to 1912, and it's located in Cairo, Egypt. The people who wanted to build it was Hushin Fari Pasha, a distant cousin in the dynasty founded by Muhammad Ali of Egypt. After he died, the Hungarian architect Mac Hers, head of the Committee for Conservation of Arab Monuments in Cairo, took over. This mosque was built for a royal family who were part of the largest educational mission as commissioned that would house the tombs of the royal family. So basically, the building was built for religious purposes. Let's step inside the interior and take a look at the designs. Focusing on the principle and elements of design, they are using the building to give off a feel of royalty, power, and religion. Contrast is seen between wooden doors, concrete, and creases in the mosque. Balance is asymmetrical throughout the building, creating variety. Patterns are th seen through the wooden doors and the concrete walls. Lines are used in the rooms made by the marble columns, making the room feel tall and magnificent. Emphasis of blue and gold paint against neutral backgrounds create a stronger presence. Harmony is seen through the seamless use of materials. The scale of the building is very grand. The ceilings are tall and the hallways are wide. The entranceways have large scale doors as well. Every detail is enlarged to create the feeling of royalty and power. There are many materials used throughout the mosque, but one major one is metal. Metal is used throughout the mosque in gold decorations. The amazing decorations are used to make the room feel beautiful and grand through the asymmetrical balance, emphasis, and movement. Another highly used material is marble. The use of marble is made into large scale with huge columns to either side of the windows and doors in the building. They are designed with an unusual spiral design on their columns. This shows vertical proportion, lines, asymmetrical balance, pattern, and harmony to give off the experience of power. Lastly is concrete. The heavy large concrete is to create such a massive building providing the experience of wealth and power. The concrete is used asymmetrically to give off variety. Next we'll go on to light and color. The lighting is shown down from above through artificial lighting or candles. This gives off the powerful and respectful feel throughout the mosque and a nice cool tone in the room. The colors are very neutral. Some bright colors are used such as red, blue, and green. All of these dark colors combined with bright soft colors creates an experience of calmness. Experience. The overall experience is calming, religious, respectful, and powerful. The mosque reflects the religion that was highly used during the time period in Egypt. The building was part of a vast campaign by the 19th century rulers of Egypt to both associate themselves with the perceived glory of earlier periods in the Egypt's Islamic history and modernize the city. The designs used throughout are based off the Islamic design which reflects the idea of craft and building. The mosque serves as the resting place to members of the royal family and local saints. The finishes of the Al Rifa Mosque is unfinished concrete to show the ancient Egypt style. The interior has finishes of gold and blue paint to create the feeling of royalty. Lastly, furnishes. The mosque has very limited furnishes due to the significant amount of prayer, which is practiced by kneeling on the ground. Most of the furnishes are simple wooden benches for resting. There's space for praying, and there's some seating for resting. Altogether, three design theories are used in the mosque, which is experiential theory, since the mosque focuses on the user's experience of religion. Second, sense of place, because the mosque was built for those with the Islamic religion, so it connects and makes the users feel meaning. Lastly, human-centric since the mosque focuses on deep empathy and prayer for users.